find the difference quotient defined as f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h where h cannot be equal to zero for the following function. So to get us started here, we want to keep in mind that we are simply given f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 5x. Now to make simplifying this difference quotient a little bit easier, we're going to break this down into three easy steps. So the first step is to find the other y value, or find f of x plus h. So how are we going to do this? Well, we look back at our original function here, and everywhere you see an x, you are now going to replace that x with x plus h. And I encourage you to use parentheses for your safety. So here we go. We have f of x plus h is equal to 3 multiplied by x plus h squared plus 5 times x plus h. Beautiful. So we have replaced every x with x plus h. And now what we need to do is simplify. So with this first term, we're going to leave 3 on the outside, and let's expand this square. So we have x plus h squared, which can be rewritten as x plus h, multiplied by x plus h. Now with our second term here, we can take this 5 and distribute it through to both terms in that binomial. So this will become plus 5x plus 5h. Now to continue with our simplification here, we want to expand this binomial product. So we're going to keep 3 on the outside and multiply x plus h times x plus h. So we have x times x, which gives us x squared. We have x times h, which is plus xh. We have h times x, which is also plus xh. And last but not least, we have h times h, so that's plus h squared. Now notice, we have two like terms here. So we can rewrite this as, again, still keeping 3 on the outside, we have 3 multiplied by x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And then don't forget, we still have that plus 5x, plus 5h on the outside. So our last step here is to distribute our 3 through to each term in this trinomial. So we have 3x squared plus 3 times 2 gives us 6xh plus 3h squared plus 5x plus 5h. Beautiful! So now we have both y values. We have the given f of x, and we now have found f of x plus h. So step two of our difference quotient process is going to be to find the difference of these two values, or the numerator of the difference quotient. We want to find f of x plus h minus f of x. So here we go, f of x plus h minus f of x. So we are taking what we just found in step one above. So that is 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared plus 5x plus 5h. And now we're subtracting the entire original function. So use your parentheses for safety. So it's going to be minus 3x squared plus 5x. Now to simplify this, we are going to take this negative and distribute it through to both terms in f of x. So this will leave us with 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared plus 5x plus 5h. And now this will be minus 3x squared minus 5x. And look at all this lovely simplification. We have 3x squared and a minus 3x squared that will cancel each other right out. We also have a plus 5x and a minus 5x. So those terms cancel themselves out. And we are left here with 6xh plus 3h squared plus 5x. Woohoo! 
So we have one more step here in our simplification process. We need to take this numerator and divide by h. So step three is to find the simplified difference quotient. We want to find f of x plus h minus f of x, which we just found in step two, and now divide by h. So here we go. We have the difference of the y values, f of x plus h minus f of x, and we're dividing by h. So taking what we found in step two here, we are now ready to divide this all by h. And to help prevent any algebra errors, let's factor for our safety. Notice that in the numerator, each term has a greatest common factor of h. So factoring that h out, we now have h multiplied by 6x plus 3h plus 5. And this is all divided by h. And we see now the h in the numerator cancels the h in the denominator, leaving us with a beautiful final answer of 6x plus 3h plus 5. So this is our simplified difference quotient.